Yo, the Bear King. Press my shoulders off, baby. Cause Bear King is just uh, excited. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm excited because uh, you know I was keeping down a lot of beer from uh, from different breweries uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Sam from Ballers Point, Chris from uh, Green Flash. And Tiffany from uh, <laughs> Nikitas and from Oregon, uh, Eugene, Oregon, and uh, and I really appreciate that. I really do. And I know sometimes I know I know there's hundreds of beer review channels on YouTube. They're all, they're all technical guys. You get all really into it, and you probably want well, some like it probably burns my videos, and they say this guy's a joke or he doesn't know how to smell their aroma. He can't taste the, the elegance of the beer. No disrespect, you got motherfuckers, but... Uh, it's fucking beer, man. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking beer. Why are you technical about it? We enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? We enjoy beers. You know, like I enjoy beers and it shows. You got fucking tits and shit now, you know. Trying to go back to the gym, you know. I'll tell you, motherfucker, so I've sacrificed my physique. Fuck, fuck beer reviews, man. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, I was getting swollen. Now I'm just puffy. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, and guys know about this shit. Okay, I'm gonna share a secret before I get to my beer. It's very important. Now I'm, I am going back to the gym. I don't do as many videos as I used to because I'm trying to get my physique going. All right, and this is why. Okay, when you look down, and little by little, you see less, 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 less of your penis because there's some object blocking it. Then time, motherfuckers, it's time to, to slow down. It's time to slow down and go to the gym and work it out, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm about 50 percent right now. I'm trying to get back to 100. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. We're actually this is my next fucking beer I, I got. You know. And it's uh it's a new style beer, I guess, from New Belgium. Uh, I, I seen it in the store at Safeway. And I was like, this motherfucker looks interesting, and I grabbed it. Plus it was on sale for like $4.99. Alright? What happened? My friend, let's go get it. To the motherfucking greatest. It's a New Belgian Happy Bach Lager. From, uh, I guess the whole kitchen. I mean, I mean, um, that whole hop kitchen. I guess it's a series of beers, whatever. But uh, it was on sale. It was cheap. It wasn't donated. I had to pay for this. But uh, you know, I know uh, New Belgium don't make too many lagers. I haven't. Oh, I tried their pale lager. And a can a while back, but this is a hoppy Bach lager. So I'm, I'm assuming hoppy means there's some ale flavor into a Bach. I know that's like a dark style lager, and lager is just a lager. So let's crack this motherfucker open with my fucking. Oh, before we get to the cracking open, Sam paid for I gotta get to the. This is my notebook, All right? BBH. You know what that means, right? Uh, what beer is it? New Belgium Hoppy Bach Lager. It's a male Bach Hellis Hellis Lager, 6.9 percent, 6.9 ABV. Um, BA give it 83 a good at 144 reviews. The Bros give it 86 a very good. Open. 
Wow. It smells, I mean, this is hoppy. So you can you need to lager, you can smell, I mean, you really don't smell hoppy, hoppiness in a lager. But maybe they mixed it in, in her interracial beverage, you know what I'm saying? It's like in, interracial, you know, relationships. Maybe they make interracial beers. Let's just try this motherfucker out. I got a big bottle. If I like it, it's gone. If it's alright, uh, we'll see. Give it a aggressive pour. Really with a lager color. And I've never really had the style of lager, but Bach, I know it's usually dark. But this is a male, a little color, something lager. <coughs> now let's get up and it says it's lighter. It's a light block. It's working. It smells. I first cracked it up and smelled hoppy, but. You know. Let's try it out. Tastes like an L. This is the first lager that tastes like an L. It looks like a lager. It's, it smells like a mix of a lager and a little bit of hoppiness. But it tastes like a fucking uh, L. It really does. I don't know shit because it says hoppy lager. I don't know how to rate it because how is this really supposed to taste? I'm not too familiar with box. I've never had a few box, but I'm not real familiar with their taste. Uh, beer has become in, uh, inter, in, in, interracial relations. You know, you got uh, lagers, boning, ales, and came out this. It looks like a uh, lager all the way around. It smells a little bit of mix of hoppy and lagerish. It tastes like an ale. Not bad though. From the whole kitchen, I mean Hoppy Kitchen series. It's not bad. And it's cheap. And it's from New Belgium. You know, I've had a lot of their beers. I give it a for internal and for inner relations, I give it a good B. I like it. I like it because this is different. I give it a B. You don't like my opinion? Oh well. But um, uh, I'm getting bloated. I'm getting a fart or burp or something. So check me out on Tumblr. Check my Facebook out. Subscribe to the Beer King. Right there. Right? So uh, <coughs> drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And uh, don't be a dumbass. <laughs> The beer right here. Yes, it is a clear bottle. It's a little bottle. 5% ABV. And it's a actual. My beer notes. You know, and I only got two of them. They should have sent me a six pack. 